Good morning, folks. It's a quick news day because I really want you to watch last night's video on the sun's motion through the galaxy. It is part one of a series. We do have a couple of things to note this morning, including a look at spaceweathernews.com and the last 24 hours on our star. Very calm. Behind the dark coronal hole to the left is a thinner dark line on an angle. That's the plasma filament we're watching closely today. Without any sunspots, however, the solar flaring is flatlined, and when we come to 304 angstroms, the filament population top left and incoming is the most notable feature, and the lack of bright spots confirms that we have no sunspots or active regions either. Solar wind speed, in purple, continues to drop, which is why the KP index has been so low, and why the Cosmic Ray Health Alert went out last night through the Disaster Prediction app. We expect solar wind to intensify at some point in the next 24 to 36 hours due to the stream from that northern coronal hole. Geomagnetic storms at low level 1 or 2 are possible. Let's quickly rewatch the U.S. portion of yesterday's wind maps. South extending convergence from the low took the storms in the forecasted run, and indeed, a tornado is believed to be responsible for numerous injuries in a small Ohio town. Severe threat is looking slightly smaller for tonight and has moved out of that area. Folks, I must now correct a pretty embarrassing mistake I made about two months ago. When Mexico had their 8.1 earthquake and aftershock, I declared the earthquake drought to be over. I could not have been more wrong. These are the four magnitude 7 events since late January of this year, including the one aftershock in Mexico City. We expect to get a magnitude 7 earthquake about once every 20 days on this planet, but after going nearly six months without one, and then another 50 days without one, we called out the end of the drought when Mexico shook, but it's been another 59 days since that main shock, and we are still without one. There is absolutely no denying in any way imaginable the earthquake drought at high magnitude is ongoing. Let's also update these charts. We used them yesterday to show the long-term progression of solar activity and how it wasn't much budged from the September solar storms. Well, yesterday they've updated the October data point as well. It's the one that goes back down. So once again, the most powerful solar storms in 12 years, which occurred in September of this year, barely budged the charts. Folks, I truly implore you to watch last night's video. There was a major error in science in 2011, and it still haunts the greater community today. 80% of tickets are gone for observing the Frontier 2018. Over half of the venue hotel is sold, and they say they expect the holiday rush for that weekend to begin within another week or so. I'd love to shake your hand in the desert. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got the wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.